Hello, this is Sean Alexander, founder of Alexander Tutoring, and I wanted to take the opportunity to discuss one of the most important rules in all of math, especially in algebra. What you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. You've all heard it, but I want to really make clear why that the rule is the way it is. That's very important to Alexander Tutoring. You don't just learn, we don't just give you a rule. You gotta understand why the rule is the way it is because that's what makes it cool. Um, and then also I wanna, this leads into the most common mistake I see in algebra that I wanna discuss so you don't make it. Okay, let's see here. So I wanna start with just a really obvious statement. Five equals five. I think we can all at least agree on that for now. Uh, but I think it's gonna make it easier to see why the rule is the way it is. Um, so what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. And it's the equal sign that separates the two sides. Okay, so let's see what happens if we break the rule and just say subtract one from the left hand side and then don't do it to the right hand side. Okay, well, uh, the equal sign always comes straight down and then we just evaluate what's left over on the left hand side, which is four, five minus one is four. But you can see that what's left on the right hand side is just five and we have a blatantly not true statement. Okay, so you can see that um, that didn't work out, but look, if we do it to both sides, subtract one, subtract one, draw the line, equal sign comes straight down, five minus one is four, five minus one is four, you can see that we get a true statement. So no matter what we do to one side, as long as we do the exact same thing to the other side, the equation must be true going forward. Okay, like, check it out, we can just divide both sides by four. Draw a line right underneath, equal sign comes straight down, and then evaluate what's left on each side. On the left-hand side, four over four is one. On the right-hand side, four over four is one. And again, we have a true statement. Okay, so it's easy to see why the rule is the way it is when we have a simple statement like five equals five. It's less easier to see when there's a variable like x. So let's look at a um, more complicated example. Um, okay, so I want to show you the, the most common mistake that I see in basically all of math and all of algebra. I'm going to do the mistake first and see if you can tell me what I did wrong. So like I said, we're trying to divide both sides by three, but I'll give you a second to think about what's wrong. And the mistake uh, is that I didn't divide three by the entire side. So what you do to one side, you must do to the entire side. See how the two didn't get divided? So let me show you the proper way to do it. So this is wrong. Uh, what's correct is to divide the entire side by three. See the difference? We divided the entire side by three. And what we can do now is split this into two fractions. Once again, the three cancels. And you can see that we get something very different than what we got before when we uh, didn't divide the entire side. So that is by far the most common mistake I see in all of algebra. So I'm hoping this video will help you prevent doing it in the future. Okay, take care.